Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Xiaoyu Wang. My partner's name is Brian. Uh, we all talk about the uh business strategy and uh, this company's financial situation. Probably next. How to do? Yeah, there you go, the advanced report. Which button? <laughs> That should work though. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, in the beginning, I will uh, introduce our mission statement. Um, according to our company's name, in Nike, I think maybe you can see our company's focus on the athlete shoes industry. Um, our mission, our missions uh, include the support high quality shoes. Uh, but our company not only pay attention to the quality, we also uh, pay attention to the good design and the fashion style uh, that can attract uh, a lot of uh, young customers because they have they, they want to buy they want to pay uh, then I'll introduce the our company's strategy formulation um, our company in Nike used the differentiation uh, business strategy uh, that differ differentiation uh, in pro product and price that includes support the range of models uh, with good design. Uh, higher than the average industry SQ rating, uh, we provide a high quality um, product to the customer. Uh, we build a superior distribution network. We all have a retail outlets and a retailers support. Um, we also build more factory worldwide, uh, depend on the customer's requirement the worldwide. Um, we also pay attention to decrease the reject rate and enhance work efficiency. Uh, in this presentation, uh, our group will pay, pay attention to six uh, key performance that are include net revenue, net profit, earn per share, credit rating, and the return on equity and the image rating. Uh, first, I will analyze the the first uh, key performance net revenue. Uh, according to this graph, uh, we can see in the first period from year 11 to year 13, we can see a dramatic decrease. In the second period from year 15, 14 to 15, we can see an increase. Um, we can, <coughs> uh, we, uh, we know the revenues are also known as the sales, sales to price, uh, we can see uh, in the in the year year twelve we have decreased uh, uh, more than thirty nine percent. The reason because um, we want to go to the uh, we got got the high market share at the uh, North America intri uh, internet market, so we decrease the price. Uh, that that caused the that caused the net revenue decrease in the year twelve. Mm. Maybe uh, we also we also have a high reject rate at the year twelve, maybe more than more than uh, twelve twelve percent. Mm. Uh, in the in the year twelve and the year thirteen, we also don't use any bank loan to uh, to su to support our company's running. Mm. According to this graph, we can see the. We can see the net revenue and the net profit has a similar trend. You know, will decrease from year 11 to year 13, increase at year 14 to year 15. Um, we can see the cost of pair at the year 12 is really high. At the year 13, uh, is year 12 is um, 37.22, year 13 is 45.61. That's because we use the uh, in the year 12, we use more than, I think, more than 70% of the superior uh, material for industry, for produce the, the truth. And in the reason for the year, th year 13, 45.61, because we spent a lot of money on the engine advertise and, uh, you know, uh, the other kinds of advertising. Then I'll talk about the net profit. Uh, in the first uh, period, we can see the decrease from year 11 to 13, increase uh, from 14 to 
year 50. Uh, we can see, we also can see a dramatic decrease at the year 12 and the year 13. That's because uh, in the year 12, we built, uh, we built a new factory at the uh, Europe Africa market. That's because this market has more customer requirement. Um, the other reason for the decrease of the net profit is because we, we spent uh, uh, too much money on the staff training and uh, enhance the incentive reach uh, to encourage the people hard work. Um, we also, uh, the reason also is that we use the superior materials to product the shoes. It's more than more than 80%. Um, we spend too much money on the advertisement. Um, the other reason for the net for profit decrease maybe also uh, we just sell a little bit of the private label shoes on the market. Um, uh, the other reason is the reject rate, uh, reject rate is really high. It's more than 12%. So, uh, after, uh, so uh, from year 14, uh, we started, we started uh, training the staff and uh, enhanced the intensive page to encourage the people reduce the reject rate. Sorry, sorry for that. Not this one. Page seven. Yeah. Oh, uh, we can see the. Now we talk about the earning per share. Uh, we can see from the year eleven to year thirteen. It's a decrease. Uh, we can see from year 13 to year 15, we can see an increase. Mm. Earning per share. Um, the earning per share at the year 11 is 148, and the uh, year 12 is 162. Uh, we can see it changed uh, at the year 12, it changed more than 80%. At the year 13, it changed more than. 300%, it's really hard. <coughs> uh, no problem, we will introduce the, the other key performance, return on equity. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Praveen and I would like to start discussing from the return on equity. For the six years of the business, uh, especially in year 11, the return on equity is pretty high close to 30 followed by year 10 then year 15 year 14 year 12 and year 6 year 6 when uh, the business was in big loss so it went in the negative values and then coming to the stock price uh, the values describes the net profit uh, for the six years business which uh, the only thing is year 13 uh, we have a negative uh, profits, but ended up with a pretty high uh, when compared to other years. Dividend per share, similarly, uh, in the year uh, 10, it was one, and then we, we didn't have any figures for the rest of the years. Earnings per share also uh, started with uh, two and ended with 2.79. Return on equity as well, uh, in the year 10 it is 20%, then uh, slightly the value has changed and ended up with 17.4 in the year, 10, year 15. Similarly, the stock price also we ended up bit less when uh, uh, from the starting of the business. And then uh, coming on to the image rating and credit rating, uh, 
in the year 10 we gained the image rating of credit rating B uh, it went uh, down in year 13 and ended up with uh, A minus credit rating in year 15 image rating also in the year 10 we started with uh, 70 and ended up with 59 in year 15 moving on to the income statement income statement the revenue in uh, year 10 is uh, 2.86 million which uh, we gained a profit in the next five years ended up with uh, 4.93 million in year 15 the cost per paid sold in year 10 is uh, 1.6 million and ended up with 2.5 the gross profit for the various expenses are warehouse expense it's 34,301 ended up with 44,690 okay, please don't go each line uh, that's, that's horrible it's death on a stick um, look um, <laughs> can, can you just cut to the chase and just tell us what happened in year 13 year 13 we we specially invested uh, we didn't take any bank loan even the business is going in loss we didn't uh, market uh, pretty well in the internet marketing but in that one you just showed us just go back one it's showing that there's a profit yeah see we can't understand that income statement slide because it's a profit in 13 but it, but there wasn't was yes you're, you're saying it's a loss in year 13 year 13 there is loss but, but your income statement if you go back to the income profit profit no uh, uh, well, the last slide you had here there you go, that one there, 13. Isn't there a problem? That doesn't line up to what your presentation is. So that needs to be looked at, reviewed, because that's, that can't be correct. No. No. Something's, totally, hmm. something's, something's right out of whack here, yeah. and it's not making any sense to us. So don't go through that at all, okay. Um, Wind up as soon as you can because yeah, there's some questions. Yeah. Coming to the reject rate, we have pretty high uh, in year uh, 12, that is 13.6%, but we changed our strategy to uh, differentiation and uh, we sold out few pairs in, uh, in the regions and ended up with 9.6 reject rate. Um, the cost per reject rate also uh, went uh, ending up with 3.08. The SQ rating started with 4 and ended with 5 in year 15. Moving on to the marketing expenses. Uh, in year 10, we invested uh, $24.7 per pair and uh, we don't have enough money moving on year, so we invested only $6.83 per pair in year 15. Total wholesale marketing per pair in year 10 is $8.59 and ended up with uh, investing less money moving on to year 15, it's $1.53. Okay, don't worry about 